while I am out there making it another great day. What? What? What are you? <laughs> what are y'all doing on the ground? Y'all laying down like a bunch of antiques or something, aren't you? Uh, it's kind of unique and all, but I've got something unique I want to show you. Let me pick you all up here and uh, show you what I'm doing. Uh, I am definitely having a great day. And today, I'm taking you to a very unique spot. It's called Antiques and Uniques here in Palm Harbor. I've never seen so much cool stuff in my life. And we're gonna go inside and look around. That's coming at you right now. Well, I am right outside of Antiques and Uniques and also the Big Dog's Grill here in Palm Harbor. And uh, right out here in the, underneath their sign, is the old Tin Man, and he looks pretty darn rusted. He's got a little friend there with him too. When I first pulled into uh, the parking lot here at Antiques and Uniques, I saw this gigantic giraffe, and I thought maybe I might be on some kind of safari adventure uh, attraction, but no, it is an antique shop featuring 48 different vendors. Right outside of the front of the shop is this very unique, gigantic chair I'm assuming it's some kind of a chair. I don't think it's a guillotine, but it does look like a big gigantic chair. Interesting. To the right side of the building here is a very old uh, Jaguar. It's uh, in need of a lot of love and care and repair, it does look like. But uh, pretty cool that they do have this out here as well. well I do like this, this swing here. And even the chairs here with the uh, little tahi uh, tiki umbrella does look inviting since it is a little hot out here. And here's a big old chicken. It's making me hungry seeing a big chicken. I might be at chicken place. I'm still venturing around the front here. Here's a, here's a fisherman made out of metal. A big uh, metal fisherman guy. And that's, that's kind of unique. Well, I am just inside of Antiques and Uniques. As soon as you walk in the shop, there's this little sign here that says, Enter as strangers and leave as friends. And that's, a good, that's some good advice. You probably might do that here. And I've made a few myself just walking around. This is the inside of Antiques and Uniques. And there is so much to look at with so many different rooms. And they tell me that this here building used to house the uh, workers who would go out into the citrus field out back. And it was a citrus citrus field out back, and they would harvest the citrus. And uh, this was a house, and I think this house has been, this building has been here since 1932. They have an old uh, desk here at the front as you come in, and uh, like the little one-room schoolhouses. And I've seen some old classic books here. Here's Billy Bunny. Here's something about a toy horse, and it's supposed to be a wipe-off book. And oh my goodness, some little kid need to get his butt whooped. I just noticed walking through here in the front of this shop in the tiki 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 room. No, we're not at Magic Kingdom, but it does look like the tiki birds from the enchanted tiki room here. And you could get those and have a little tiki room at home. And right up front, they have a little thing where you can get some lemon ice water and some samples here. You can sample some chips with uh, some of their hot shit sauce. They have all kinds of seasonings here for your barbecue. They have the good, the bull, the chicken, and the ah, and they even have a bottle called special. They've even got dip here for your vegetables and for your fruit. I found a very cool Route 66 vintage gas pump that is doubling as a beverage holder. And as you can see, they got the bottled beverages right there in it. Some vintage radios up here as well, up here on this shelf in this little room that I'm in. I go down here and I found, this looks like a, it's a big mallet. You can uh, maybe whack-a-mole. I wonder if they have the whack-a-mole game here. Here's some uh, tiki statues, but uh, what I do see it is unique here 
it's a Jack Daniels it looks like a Jack Daniels lamp it does look like that is a lamp well, I am just roaming around inside here they have all kinds of dishware and stuff back here all kinds of signage and things and I see all kinds of lamps back here there's all kinds of things you could furnish your house here with here's a shell lamp uh, that's pretty neat. I found something that I haven't seen for a long time. And I'm, my mother had this. This pitcher looks like a pineapple. It's a plastic pitcher. Looks like a pineapple. Oh my God, I might get that. Who knows? I haven't seen that in years. Well, here, I'm just shell-shocked here at this. Um, I don't know what you would do with that. We put it on the wall and uh, shell-shock everybody else. They even have a whole room back here dedicated to the sea life. There's a Geico up there and uh, a curio cabinet that looks like a lighthouse. That's pretty neat. And uh, just some interesting stuff. You could be in here a long time looking at this eclectic stuff here in this shop for sure to decorate your home with. Boy, everybody likes a funky black flamingo. He looks like he might be putting on the Ritz here. That's the funky flamingo going out on the town here in Florida does look like uh, even flamingos like to have fun and just like this sign says just bob bob bobbing along and I'm bobbing right through this shop and back in the back they have some pretty cool lamps over there I must say and uh, it's a little boutique for the ladies uh, pretty reasonable prices all so uh, $12.50 uh, some unique clothing back here uh, for sure I do like these lamps these palm tree lamps there's a set of them and uh, much of the Golden Girls would probably like those as well well I have discovered the restrooms here at Antiques and Uniques and here's the men's room and it's uh, it's a full working restroom but there's all kinds of merchandise in here kind of a man cave it's got Hot Wheels all over the wall and there's even a big Harley Davidson motorcycle here and right next door to the men's room is they got to have a women's room and the women's room is no exception of merchandise all over the wall you've heard the old saying shop till you drop well here you can shop as you drop and I'm talking using the restroom here at antiques and uniques pretty unique they do have a lot of farm signs here and even signs for milk for cows I wonder if they have a actual working cow you can milk out here I doubt it well I am in the back of the building here at Antiques and Uniques and uh, they have a lot of tables out here where you can eat and here on Sunday they have the big dogs uh, grill where you can come out here and get you a grilled burger or hot dog and some fries well I have decided to sit down here and relax and the big dog grill and um, he is making my burger right now and I'm waiting on it. He got me an ice cold coke listening to some music. cool here at uh, Antiques and Unis is they have a little grill here called Big Dog's Grill and they have live entertainment music here on Sundays and uh, they tell me from September till May they not only do it on Sunday but they do it on Friday, Saturday and Sunday uh, so that's pretty cool so you can come out here in their little garden area have some have some lunch and uh, enjoy some music and do some shopping and they also provided me lunch here at their Big Dog's Grill right here at Antiques and Uniques in Palm Harbor. And I, I want to thank them for that. I wasn't expecting that. And I got chips and a big, big burger made to my order with some Swiss cheese and everything on it. I mean, everything on it. Ooh, it looks so good. And, uh, and some fries and a Coke. So uh, pretty nice people down here. And I can't wait to 
Can't wait to eat this. Well, I'm finally ready to eat this thing. Look at this sucker. This is, oh my goodness, this looks so good. Doesn't it look good? just so much stuff outside here at Antiques and Uniques. I just uh, don't know where to look at next, but I did find Nemo. I found Nemo right here, and it's a metal. It's a metal sculpture of Nemo. Who wouldn't like to have that? Now, this is pretty cool. An M&M guy. A metal M&M guy. Yeah. Yeah, consider that sold. No bull about it. There's all kinds of metal bulls out here as well. From little baby bulls to the big ones right over here. This here's pretty neat. It looks like a banjo playing frog. Is that Porky Pig? Uh, never did see a pig ride a bicycle. They say when pigs can fly, but when pigs can ride a bike, look out. Hey, I'm wandering around back here in the back of uh, Antiques and Uniques, and yes, I think I want one of those, and uh, yeah, one of those, and a couple of those over here. There's so many things I'd like to buy here, and I did. I, I have something I'm purchasing. Even out further into the back is another little building that uh, a gentleman named John runs. He also runs a grill, and uh, he has a lot of eclectic stuff back here as well. Here is one of these old wheelchairs. Remember when John F. Kennedy, I believe, uh, rode around in one of these here uh, old wheelchairs. Here's a pretty cool old chandelier for Kodak Film. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Maybe that was in maybe a Pizza Hut or something, but I don't think they took your picture in Pizza Hut, but that's pretty neat. And they do have a lot of salvage here, a lot of stuff, just some interesting things that you, some people might be interested in. Uh, they have it. They have a pretty good supply of old windows. If you're getting ready to do a stunt movie and you can go busting through some windows, and uh, this would probably be a place to come get them windows. Oh, my. This was an incredible place. I highly enjoyed looking around here at Antiques and Uniques. I've been here at least three hours. Uh, hard to believe I've been here that long. But uh, I, I can't thank the two uh, ladies in here, the owner, for allowing me to come down here and highlight their shop. Over about 48 different vendors, all in one location. And they have live music out here on Sundays. Uh, starting in uh, uh, September uh, through, I think she said May, they'll be on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, but during the hotter months, they only have it on Sunday. And um, but th that was really nice. They have an open mic, and they have uh, Big Dog's Grill, and uh, the guy John, who has another little building in the back with a bunch of eclectic stuff. And I couldn't show all that. He's a, he's a chef back here, and he he makes a heck of a burger. Oh my goodness. Uh, I am stuffed and that was really good. That was some good eating and I can't thank him enough for uh, providing me lunch and I do appreciate it and I did come out of here with that pineapple pineapple pitcher that I remember uh, my mom had when I was a child and uh, kind of brought back memories. Uh, check their links out in the description. Um, definitely come down here and check this place out. This is if you're looking to decorate your home, decorate your garden, or just come browse and have lunch in a nice, casually atmosphere, this is the place to do it. And it's locally owned. And um, I guess they've been here seven or eight years, something like that. Um, awesome place. Can't thank them enough. Antiques and Uniques right here in Palm Harbor. Uh, we're going to go out there and keep finding places like this here in Central Florida. And uh, I'm excited about it. Remember to go out there, make it a great day because you deserve it.